Mambo vipeda, hope mko fresh, mko fine. A very, very new day right here. Happy Father's Day to you all. It's a Sunday, the 18th of June. Yep, yep, yep. Kama wataza my video in the next, like in two weeks to come. No, it's going to Sunday, 18th of June. Yep, so, leo madao mneza ku confess kwamba the audio quality is much smoother, much cleaner, much clearer. So, kama wangependa kujua what audio equipment I'm using today, na gani likuwa ni kitumia kitambo, Inge pale kwenye DM. So before to answer our, our very exciting episode leo, kuna a video hapa nilikama cross nayo. Mazee ili ni nice sana. Ili postiwa na MC Jesse. Kuna talanta mofa ya hapa. Wacha tuicheki before to ingie uh, into our episode leo hii. Haya. Aha. Mhm. Mm kuna wenye Kenya alafu kuna sisi. Wengine wana kuanga tu mafisi Wengine wana shukisha kamisi Na ikifika sando wana kuanga makasi Wenye Kenya wamefanya tume divide Tumepewa pombe tukakunyo na madivide Tukipiga na Kenya wanapiga domo Dubai Na si tuko kwa ground tunalia venye high five Nimepata tomboya embakasi Na analia sana tunapoteza na fasi We uko hapo unalia sina kazi Na utaka kupiga na ndo upati we na fasi Sai tuko tao tunarushia na mau Mwenye Kenya meketi ya kona zake Asanti ya punde na kwanga ni mateke Jutuli kuga kuro kaza leta makashesh Reality ya Kenya tunaipata kwa movie Juwenye Kenya umegeuka ndo mabuli Warusha ni midomo siku nje ni mikono Kara unatia gaswa tulishe unono Walidai ni wachoteza macho Jusi jaona mbele kume mwagika makanjo Tuko kwa crime scene wamesima makando Na wanadai peace wa kitufungia milango Eh! <laughs> this one is more fire. Wadao, iyo hata mseme nini. I hope, ama siya tia ta i hope, najua some of you may come across this video. Wherever this girl is, man. Mtu wa mkonekt na kina major, man. Me, I feel some major vibes, some major storytelling vibes pale. Yep, big ups to MCJS for posting this. Eh, man, I believe someone will notice this talent. Eh, na shuguli kaya maneno. Ama na unaganyo dao. Yep. Yep, so in this episode today, we are talking about the five oldest scams in the city. These scams are old, man. Mili wambia, these scams are too kiosh, we will laugh at you. Tutakucheka buwana, hii ni old, but it's old sana because we know that we have our wazayas pale kwenye village. Kuna wazaya pale village, watu ambawa, bana, hizi vitu, hizi kuona jua sana, so they can still be washed. But good thing most of them zafanya kawuko siri. But still, eh, munafaku stay woke. So man, let's get straight into it. My name is Mzimu Elson. This is Stay Woke series hapandani ya Zimax Media. Let's roll straight into it. So today's video will not have many things. We'll just be lighting this scam saraka raka to Kisonga because it's a Sunday, man. It's a Father's Day. Lazima watu wende wa shereke kule ma Father's Day. So number one is what you call the fake or old M-Pesa message. I think this is one of the most common and uh, oldest scams. Uh, usually one gets a copy of an M-Pesa message which will look authentic. However, the message content is usually modified. For example, new M-Pesa balance will be locked. Umetumiwa Mpesa message, lakini haitoke kwa Safaricom, imekuwa forwarded from someone's number. That's why I'm saying it's one of the oldest scams. So, pale kwa balance, pale chini, imeandikuwa locked. Uh, avoid calling back the number or the sender or attempt, attempting to reverse the erroneously sent money, even upon their request. Usijaribu kutume wa Mpesa. Because wanakuambia, eh, nimekutumia pale Mpesa, kibati mbaya, tafadhali send me back. We jua kwamba a genuine M-Pesa message comes from M-Pesa, Safari kwa mwenyewe. Mm. 
and not a customer's line. Don't refund the money. Uh, instead, request the sender to forward the message to 456 or call Safaricom for assistance. Now, okay, receive your message. Tafadali, please forward that SMS to 333, three, three, your number is Safaricom. Why am I saying this? Because when you forward there, uh, it, it ensure, they will ensure Kwamba, Safaricom will ensure Kwamba they have blocked that number to protect other victims in the future was square washed. So this is one of the oldest scams. Um, to be a in your comments, are people still being washed na he in binu a scam? Are people still being washed? Like in kunangino na kwango dinya sana, let's say if someone we know very closely and is a kuja, I delete uh I get phone book yako, I just save kama mpesa. Then one of kiri ni mpesa na kutumia. Like I come to your phone, I've saved my my name there as Mzima well. So nina futa Mzima, Nandika, Mpesa, and then forward your message. So, now I'm going to Mpesa. Kumbe ni mimi. Still, that's an old form of Mpesa. My question is, but what else? Kuna tu badu wanaosho na hii imbinu? Are people still being watched with this one? Anyway. Okay, number two. Tuma kwa hii number, ile ingine ikona shida, ile ingine ilipotea, ama ile ingine ikona hustler fund. Yes, tuma kwa hii number, that's the second type of scam. This has to be one of the most common scams in Kenya at the moment. A recent expose, kuliko an expose pa le Citizen TV, eh, inye, wali, wali, wali investigator wa gundo kwamba, there's a mini call center pa le Kamiti prison, where uh, those prisoners were being, walikuwa na scam watu, wana kutumia hiyo kitu. Tuma kwa hii namba. Uh, so, there are thousands of testimonies of Kenyans who have sent money upon receiving distress messages, apparently from family, friends, or acquaintances. These are usually crafted to bring out a case of urgency. For example, the message may inform you that your kid is in some kind of emergency, or some problem, and has been rushed to hospital. They then send this message to tens of thousands. They send this message to what wing sana, like they send to many numbers, in order to boost their chances of success or increase their odds. On a moleo, what is for the message to come? What 20,000s? But like on 20,000, where is the cost of to come? Mia, I'm what to me at time. If you want to respond, you want to come here to my call number because your kid has been rushed to hospital. At the way, because they know, uta juliza amu uta juliza kwamba ni hospitali gani. Where come on assume to me to yako ako shule flani pale. Then maybe the kid is in school. Then when I'm bio, I'm a rush to hospital. You will just think of the nearest hospital. Now uta juliza ako osigani. So out of like a thousand targets. Chances of getting a parent with a kid in school are quite high, and that's how they almost guarantee success. Scammers manipulate your emotions. They are counting on you to act quickly in order to assist your family or friends. They are also counting on you to pay without questioning with the, whether the situation is truly an emergency or if it even involves someone you know. Yeah, this be any old scam where it happen unambio kwamba tuma pesa, wauna kimbia Mazo unarekisha pale unakimbia osi But unafika hapo unajuliza eh, Lakini osi, uyo mtali nipigia si Maku niambia ni osi gani Wacha ni muulize, oh kimuuliza Ulisha tuma do, sha disappear So mostly, this also targets uh, The older people, wazae So kama kuna mtu pale maze Wale wazae kule village, wacha nue man Easy my story My question again Are people still being washed with this one, this old scam <laughs> Alright Let's go to Number three, yeah, so this number three to number five involves uh, some of deals that are too good. I want to say a deal is too good to be true. <laughs> hey, take care, take care. If it's too good to be true, then it's not true. All right, so number three, uh, selling impounded cars or vehicles from Mombasa port. So a swindler will convince a target that there are cars at the port which were imported, but the owners either died <laughs> or could not afford to pay duty. Such cars are often destroyed. Yeah, okay, normally, is a magari pale kwa port, kama like there's no one, like same in kwa imported, but owner, ama mwenye gari, hajalipia nini, hajalipia duty. So, there's a kwa destroyed, ama zikwa impounded, ama zikwa na police. So, the swindler tells you, that he knows someone at the port who can sneak out one high-end car, pale ka Audi, pale, pale ka Benz. So, you're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. 
This is an old scam. <laughs> it may go for long, but people are still being washed. That's number three. Number four, I'm sure my level will be going very, very fast. I'm going to waste time level. Selling minerals. I just want to gold scam. I just want to in our previous videos, but these are a bit different. So selling minerals, it could be gold, diamonds, or mercury. Most of the time, the swindler will be short of money and in urgent need to deliver the minerals. And I can be a corner minerals, like me, I got short of money. Now he is so there's some urgency. You could deliver you any is your minerals. So the swindler will then ask the target victim to invest in his business, promising huge amounts, huge returns. But of course. It's too good to be true. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Utamtumia pesa tu na invest kwa busy yake. Buda na hivyo na unaoshwa. You will just be washed like that. So man, stay woke. And the last but not the least, number 5. Caught in the act scam. Caught in the act. A beautiful woman will invite a man to her house for steamy sex. Eh? Kuja pale mechi. Kuja mechi pale kwake. Lakini mwanaume pia how can you be invited to nyumba ya mwana ya mwanamke how can you go to a lady's house for sex lafu uko tu pale full blown not your house wona si wona sema if you don't pay the rent of that house as a man never never ever try usijaribu kwenda mechi uko kama umevaa jeze ma boots usijaribu kwenda uko you don't pay rent in that house how the hell do you go to a, a woman's house if you don't pay rent well so while both are naked in the bedroom the husband will abruptly boom anaingia very very fast abruptly come home and bust the two eating the forbidden fruit he will pretend to call the media eh napigia watu wa KTN watu wa CNN napigia di BBC wakuja washuhudie so mimi usipanilipa pesa yangu lazima ni kuexpose eh so if he calls the media usually freelance cameraman and even involve the police the man will then fork out millions to appease the husband Oh kwa pale man umeshikwa kwa nyumba wenyewe eh husband anakuja na kuambia napigia media so usipotoboka mamilioni 5 millions ama 2 millions eh yeah, hivyo ndio imeenda story yako inauzwa na wasium pale wewe ni bana wewe ni big wig maybe you're a public figure or a celeb umeshikwa kwa nyumba yenyewe kwa yenyewe hivyo ndio wewe sasa utatoboka pesa eh na hiyo inatufungia pale list yetu ya yeah, the five oldest or most common scams in the city So, at this story but then ilisikia mahali kwamba there's some village. Pia na petfe kwa village hii caught in the act scam. There's some village in this Kenya. Watu walikuwa wakiunda pesa. Like jamaa akona bibi yake ama demi yake na wamesota mbaya. So they use this uh, this means kuunda pesa. Mimi mimi leo sema na green na demi yangu ama na bibi yangu, eh, my my wife. Eh, hii hali imekuwa mbaya sana. Acha tukacheze, tucheze hii game. So maze pale dema na ongea na mtu wake kule kando ana muinvite kwa nyumba so the maze they were minting money through this thing acha <laughs> mchezo eh hey, je hustle ni hustle bana eh hey, mboka ni mboka <laughs> like eventually maze walijulikana na hiyo story ya maze ilikuwa very big case so these are the five scams mtuambie pale chini which other scams do you know unajua gani nyingine all the scams maze tuambie na pale chini na hizi tatu za mwisho Are people still being washed caught in the act scam selling minerals nyingine imekuwa gani hapa juu selling important cars from Mombasa port are people still being washed through these scams yep so man hapa form ni ku stay work asante uh, sana for sticking by leo tunafungia hapa leo hatuna mambo mengi leo hatuna hatuna bugda hatuna mshike mshike <laughs> Yep, yep. Asante sana manzee for tuning into this very end. I'm your guy Mzima Wells. Kama kawaida, this is Zimax Media Stay Walk Series. I'll meet you in our next video. Eh, watu wame request niongele forex trading. I am preparing something on forex scams. Mtapenda. Forex scams inakuja very soon. And then kuna nyingine online dating scams. Eh! Kuna story mtu alitupigia pale kwa DM, alitu inbox pale. Ah, aliwasha proper. Ni to pigi a story. It's coming up very soon. I'm pre- we are preparing the video. We are doing some reenactment. Very nice stories coming up. So, before ni funga mazemu kiona hapa kuna label fulani. There's a guy of mine aliamua alisema mazao utakuwa na kai vivi. Wacha nikutengenezee logo. Logo ndio hii hapa. Logo ndio hii hapa. Eh, very very nice as you can see it. So kama ungependa maybe maybe if you want to 
do some branding for your business or for whichever. Yes, flyers, posters, t-shirts, nini. I got someone who does the these uh, designs na kuna mwingine ambaye anafanya printing. So, I'll leave the contacts pale chini if you want to contact them. Mzee, ingia pale kwenye comment section. Yeah. Pale kuna their 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 contacts. You can reach out to them. They do some very very amazing work. Maybe kama pia ungependa pia our merchandise. <laughs> Mzee, you're invited to ambia pale chini. We can do some deliveries. Ah, till then. Mzee, I have to leave now. Nafungia hapo. As always, man, keep safe and hustle hard. Peace!